and we're back and we oh Delilah wants us to pick up <sighs> I'm awake I'm awake what's your problem our problem sorry our problem that storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service which means we're cut off I tried radioing out and that's not working either there's no backup the backup is the two-day hike out of here so that's a no it's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds... Erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Oop. I think that book's meant to be able to go there. Manly. Probably put it down somewhere where it, you know, makes sense. Henry should try and clean up a bit better because this place is gross. I can confiscate the fireworks again? <laughs> That's amazing. <sighs> can also save that for later again. Because dealing someone's stuff twice is normal. Right, I think. Now we should go outside the door. Anyway, I'm supposed to do the line, I'm pretty sure. I should use Forest Burns to fix the window. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Oh, we got some more firewood. There we go. There, yes, it's meant to go there. More stuff to burn. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, 
Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. <laughs> never. This is a steep jump. I wonder if Delilah can see me from here. Oh, that wasn't nice. <laughs> oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean... What's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. I think I annoyed Delilah. can see the down wire. Uh, 
Uh, which way do I go? Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Mm. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Mm-hmm. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just... Seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm... I don't know. Um... <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. It's kind of rude, though.
Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in mm. Two Forks, near Lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Anything that would scar a photodome employee? I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, <laughs> I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, Dave, guess he's going out with Debbie next week. No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I want to check up on the new. Uh, I want to check out the new guy at Two Forks. And heard him talking to himself more than usual for L.O.'s. So I figured I'd stay away. I remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the service... The Forest Service only picks a deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, where the creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Entire creature. Seems kind of, you know, illegal. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire. You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. 
Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Hmm. <laughs> and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is one I've already been in. Okay. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hey, I'm at the Medicine Wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. You can't see okay, it. Heading over there now. Slide to Delilah. You dick. <sighs> okay, well, that's not the right way. Where are we supposed to go? If I go down to towards Jonesy Lake. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. 
She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. This might end up just being a series of me being lost in the woods. Well, technically in the forest, but still. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> you were brave. I was drunk. Only a little drunk, though, you know. <laughs> totally didn't say the words wrong or anything. Copy information. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and 
then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Ah, this is so cool. a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire is it them no, it seems like it i swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here track them down and don't let them see you what a job this is these girls have a full case of beer left here a full case well they're impressive little shits i guess that is some dedication i have entered the teen zone 
Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Ah, <laughs> I found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Can I take them? No? Okay. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done? To you, Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and... We're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of that stuff. Oh, and selling his panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer so and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay, that was day two of Firewatch. I'm gonna go to bed. I will see y'all next time. Mm, goodbye.